Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I am Mastrath, and welcome to some of this. By the way, I forgot to mention, it was a Let's Play quickly. <clears throat> anyway, licensed by our good old pals at Nintendo. Well, good old pals. After that whole Let's uh, Take Money from Let's Play thing, not too sure about that. Anyway, Hasbro! Yay! And Atari. And yeah, licensed by Hasbro. We've seen that already. Yeah. And yeah, yes, we've seen that it's licensed by Atari. We we've seen that. Okay. Uh, yes, and DSI games. Yes. Okay. Welcome to Let's Play. Man, no, oh, full fat. Why do you have to be in this for? You're full fat. You make people fat. Welcome, folks, to Let's Play Monopoly. Oh yeah, great game, this So I guess welcome to Let's Play Monopoly. Yeah. Uh. The game is adapted off a board game, for people who don't know, made by the Parker Brothers years ago. At least 80, 90 years ago, I'd say. At least 80 years ago. Yeah. And it's all about, there have been certain, like, differences in different countries. This is the UK version, so it's going to have stuff like, uh, the, the stuff around London. Anyway, let's go English. Let's start the game. It's a board game. Game. Anyway, we're going to go for a standard game. Add human player. We can choose a character. I'm going to choose the car because I am a car. And my name. No, not Ma. S T E. R. A. T. H. Yay. Now let's add a computer player. Um, we've got a hat, an iron, a ship, a cannon, a dog. Thimble and a boot. Go for a boot or shoe. I'm so tempted to call you Canada, but I'm not going to. You're gonna be smelly. Can I put smelly McSmellington in? No, but smelly. I'll just put smelly in then. You shall be a normal. And the computer player. We'll go for the hat. And you shall be... Uh, it. You shall be an entrepreneur. You'll be a slightly different level. Slightly tougher level. And lastly, you got to have the dog in there. So we're going to call you... Mutt. Yeah, mutt. Call you mutt. You'll be normal. Game options. That seems alright to me. Yeah, it seems okay with me. Basic generic rules. Let's go! Play Monopoly! Okay, so. First, we've got our manager here, which manages our properties. We haven't got any yet. This looks at the current game status, as you can see there. Uh, and let's roll the dice. You roll two six sided dice here. Ooh, a six. So I get to move six on the board. And I've landed on the Angel Islington. I have a chance to buy the Angel Islington. For the moment, I will. And I buy it with the money that I get. Each person starts off with £1,500. Now it's Smelly's turn to roll the dice. Pretty much it's all about trying to get property, build up your property, and whatever. Um... If you get all of a certain colour, you can then build houses and hotels on it. This is called a Monopoly, hence the name. Anyway, this guy gonna balls up my chance of getting a blue Monopoly with buying Pentaville Road, aren't you? Yes you are, you moron smelly, that's why I called you smelly. Okay, it is up next. Go on, it. This music is actually quite nice, I admit. Oh, 10. Right, so he's going to move 10 spaces is it. Which means that it goes to jail. Now, when you when you just go into jail, you're actually not in jail. But if you actually have to go to jail, you either have to pay the fine or roll a double to get out. Rolling a double means that you roll two of the same number. For example, rolling two fives. Okay, so Mutt has just rolled a... 10 as well which means that he's also in he's also just visiting jail okay I'm up next 
I've already got one blue, so let's go and roll the dice again, see what I get this time. A six. I, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That now means I get one of the most useful things on the board. The electric company. I'm buying that before anyone else gets it. Pretty much if I uh, if I own both the electric company and the waterworks, uh, if they land on it, if they land on either, then whatever whatever uh, number they rolled is times by, I believe, 100 uh, or 10, and uh, they have to pay me that in money. So yeah, it's going to get good in future. Anyway, he's landed on Bow Street. He's probably going to buy it as smelly. As you can see, the further you get on the board, the more the items cost. Ah, he's auctioning it. Auctioning means that you pretty much uh, just all bid on it. So I'm going to bid. We might as well bid for Bow Street. Now we're all going to bid until we either just give up or just don't have money for it. Nope. Go on, Smelly. Ah, my goat. I only need to put it up by one. There's no point putting up any higher. We're just all buying it for one here. This is getting boring. Isn't this epic gameplay, folks? Epic gameplay. Oh, that's just slowly increasing the bid. Ooh, a ten. Smelly's going for a ten. That's not good. I'm going to go for one. So, Bow Street is actually worth 180. We've currently got it to 93. 98. 99. I don't really want Bow Street, but if I can get it for less than the actual property cost, I'll be happy. That means I've sort of made a profit on it, than landing on it normally. I hope to win this. Basically, uh, how to win this is to bankrupt all of your opponents. You bankrupt all your opponents by uh, making by uh, leaving them with no money and no properties, pretty much. You do that, you win the game! So I'm going to attempt to do that in this Let's Play, but uh, this Let's Play could take a while. Games of Monopoly have been known to take hours sometimes. Shall turn the sound down just a little. I know it's during my Hornsby Millionaire Let's Play that um, the sound was a bit loud. Anyway, 180, going once. No, I want it actually. One pound more. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with paying one pound more. Going once. Going twice. Sold to the chippy little man for 181. Yes. So now I have two, I have, I have three properties. I've got the Angel Islington, Bow Street, and the Electric Company. Sometimes you can just snag them just for like, what, an extra one pound more, but it is worth it if it's something you want. Okay, seven. Ah, now seven should leave them on Community Chest, doesn't it? It does! Community Chest, as you can see in the middle, there are cards. Gap Jail for- Ooh, that's a good card. Basically, you pick up a card and you gotta do what it says on it. This is a Get Out of Jail Free card, which means that if he goes into jail, that is the third option of how he can get out. He can use the Get Out of Jail Free card and Get Out of Jail Free. The problem is, though, he can only use it once. So, he was very lucky. Now, that's a double. If you roll double in normal play, that means you actually get to roll again, and it's still your turn. The problem is, though, he's on Marlborough Street, which means he's going to balls up my other Monopoly that I was going to do. Yep, yeah, damn you, mutt. And he gets to roll again, because he rolled a double. And it doesn't matter what double you get, if you get double, oh, double one, double two, double three, double four, double five, and double six, you will go again. Okay, the Strand. These are all places in London. Um, this is what this game is uh, about. You got the American version, which has things like St. James Place and Marvin Gardens. You know, things like that. Anyway, my go again. He's bought quite a few places actually in his turn. Right, what have I got? I've got an 11. Big number. That means I get to pass straight past Mutt with an 11. Yeah! 11. That means I'm going to balls up your monopoly by taking Fleet Street. Sorry. Anyway. So pretty much it's all... Some of the, this game is partially luck based. Um, and, you know, trying to outwit your opponents. You can actually sell stuff to your opponents. You can sell, like, properties 
for money. Uh, and you can buy properties for money as well. Aha, you landed on my stuff, on something that I got. So as you can see, I uh, own the place, so they have to pay me rent. They have to pay £18 rent. Now, that doesn't seem bad at first. But once you get a monopoly, um, you can start building hotels and houses on it. Once you start building houses and hotels, that's when you are, that's when your opponents are starting to say, please, I don't want to land on it. Anyway, here's a chance. It's pretty much the same as community chest. And it's to get out of jail free. So both get out of jail frees are already owned. Which kind of sucks, but, you know. I'll, I have no plan on going into jail anyway, but uh, sometimes the game forces you to. Okay, Mutt, it's your turn. I'd love for you to get a nine right now. Oh, wait a minute. Is he mortgaging? Did he just mortgage one of his places? Bugger. Ooh, Snake Eyes too. That means he's gonna land. You know he's gonna land. Oh, yes. Pay me 18 pound, please. Thank you. Good start for me. I've already been able to get under my play uh, opponent's skin. Right. Come on, a seven. Eight. Sadly, that's not going to be enough for what I want. Anyway, as you can see, there's the waterworks there. There's go to jail. That automatically sends you directly to jail. Okay. Regent Street. He's now getting to the dangerous part of the level. Or dangerous part of the game. If you get to that bit... Oh, he's auctioning it. Ooh. Well, this is going to take... This is going to be annoying. So I'm going to speed up the process. I'm going to speed up the process a little. Alright. We all want Regent Street, because Regent Street is a very good place. Um, alongside Oxford Street and the other one, uh, the, the other green one, them, Mayfair and Park Lane are the best to get in the game. They are brilliant. Fine, you can have it. Smelly, you can have it. Damn you. I'll let you have it. However, I will buy it off you, and you will die for it. See, at the moment, I have not a lot of money, so that's why I'm not really, like, recklessly bidding anymore. Roll dice. Not a seven. Five. Wait a minute, five. Please tell me that's Waterworks. Yes! Perfect! I'm taking Waterworks. Right, now I've got both the Waterworks and the Electric Company. So, now, whenever they land on it, it's just brilliant. Brilliant. I'm really enjoying that now. Okay, a nine. That should put him on community chest, possibly? No, nearly. It's uh, Oxford Street. Probably gonna buy that. Yeah. Well, he's got the money for it, so fair enough. Alright, so it looks like that um, uh, the green ones are out of my uh, keeps, isn't they? Now, the aim of the game is to get the two top ones, which are Mayfair and Park Lane, which are in purple. You get them, they are the highest amount. If you have Mayfair with a hotel on it, £2,000 your opponent has to pay you. And as you see, we only start out with £1,500, that's going to make them, that's going to put them in serious trouble. May not bankrupt them, but they have to mortgage a lot of properties. Mortgage means that they can, um... They can get half the money back on the place. They still own the place, but um, any rent that they get from it goes away. So if they, ru so for example, if you land on it, you don't, and it's mortgage, you don't pay them. Anyway, that's an eight. Oh no! Please tell me that actually wasn't an eight. Damn! Mayfair, straight to Mayfair, you little bugger! Come on, auction it. You know you want to. You know you want to auction it, don't you? You know you want to auction it. Damn you, you piece of dog. And he gets a roll again. What a lucky puppy this is. Ah. And a snake eyes. God's sake. Another double. He has to roll again. And as you see, if you pass go, you collect 200 pounds. That's good. Old Kent Road. Old Kent Road is the, pretty much the most useless one on the board. But, uh, you know, you might as well buy it. It's only worth like, what, 80 pounds, which isn't really that much in the game. So, yeah. Seven. That should land you on... Oh, there's a few more things I want to mention. Uh, that's the last blue one there is. That's Euston Road. I own one. Uh, someone else owns one. And now you own one. Congratulations. Moron. Alright. I'm next. I'm at the waterworks at the moment. 
Please not a two. I do not want a two. Seven. That's good. Oh, that's really good, actually. Hang on. A seven puts me on a station, doesn't it? Yes! Okay, now here's another thing. These stations, as you can see there, the rent is £25. If you own two of the station, there are four on the board. Uh, it's 50, then 100, then 200. You don't have to put houses, you can't put houses on these things. But I'm going to buy it. Because, well, again, the stations are also quite handy to have. I've already got the waterworks and the, uh, the, the, the electric company, so I've got a good... I've got a good start. I just need for someone to land on it, and I can start getting to business. Okay, six. That's gonna land him on. I know that's gonna land him on. Ouch! Ho oh, ho! Oh, taxes. Luxury tax. You've got two types of taxes. You've got luxury tax and income tax. The luxury tax is 100, and the income tax is 200 when you land on it. The income tax, I believe, is just after Whitechapel Road. Whitechapel Road, which is uh, the second worst of the lot. Alright, he's gonna go up for seven. It's not bad, he's on Bond Street. He's probably gonna buy that, he's got quite a lot of money. He's, he's kept a lot of money back as an um, LT. Not LT, it. Yeah. Oh no, he's auctioning it. Uh, I have no need for it. So I'm just gonna speed up this process. Before it gets insanely dull. There you go. Just before it gets insanely boring. There you go, he bought it for more than he should, but never mind. We'll let Smelly have it. Smelly might be building up a really good monopoly here, and I may not realise. But never mind, Smelly gets it! Smelly gets the stuff. Okay, Mutt, the lucky bugger. I'm starting to hate Mutt already. Okay, Mutt, let me guess, it's gonna be uh, two fours. Oh no, he's... he's Yeah, yeah, you did have Old Kent Row, you know. Okay. Uh... Eleven! Ah, He's missed my waterworks completely. What's worse, he's gone to Vine Street. Which he's probably gonna buy. No, he's auctioning it, okay. Well, now this is, a, this is something that I do want. So I'm going to take it. Two hundred exactly. I'm taking this. <coughs> because I already have one of the oranges, I believe. So this will be orange number. I always had, I already have Bow Street, I believe. So I now have two of the orange ones. I just need one more, and then I can uh, start. I believe I do. Hang on, I will just check this, and then I'm gonna go for a break. I have the Angel Islington, the Angel Company, Bow Street, Vine Street, Fleet Street, and the Waterworks, and Liverpool Street Station. So yeah, I got quite a lot. Anyway guys, I'm going to go for a break here, but in the next episode, more Let's Play Monopoly. Dog will die. A lot. See you then.